Here we are for another quick uh, episode of Dave's Garage. And so what we're doing today, well, I've already done it. We're just going to talk about it real quick, is I'm going to have to get a different bag because I think this one's too small. Let me give this one to my wife, but the bigger one will work the same way, is the OGO. It has a Ram Easy mount that comes installed on the bottom of it. And then you get different mounts for different bikes. So I got a Yamaha one. I got a Kawasaki one. And these mount up. I'm not going to do an install video if you can't figure it out. It's <laughs> You remove the three screws that line up with the mount. And it comes with three little metal standoffs that go underneath this. Then you lay this on top and you put in the three longer screws that it's supplied with. You can't mess it up. If you do, don't own a motorcycle. <laughs> um, and then that thing is all going to just click into this. So you slide it on. And you'll feel it, uh, of course I'm right-handed, so what am I doing wrong here? Just got it at the wrong angle. And then you click it in, and that thing will sit there. Um, that's only the four liter, I will say. You know, that's fine for like a small bottle of water, maybe some camera equipment, throw your phone in there, you know, things like that. I'm gonna get the eight liter one. That'll be about double the size, so it'll be a little wider and a little longer. That's better for someone my size. Just because I, you know, if I want to throw extra gloves or, you know, there's not a whole lot that you can really throw in the four liter. I thought, oh, on the picture, it looked like, oh, it's plenty of room. I can have it. But when you look inside, it's really not that much space when you take out the mounting hardware and stuff sitting there. You're like, eh, I can put a couple things in there. It's better than nothing. You can throw a sandwich in a water bottle and not a whole lot else. Anyway, that just clicks on and then you pull that tab and it releases it and it pops up. And then you can go over to your other bike. So you can get these mounts for different uh, different bikes and then click them in and go for your ride. So they've got ones that are bigger. They have ones that have a clear lens on top. They have ones that um, are more waterproof. You know, depends on what you want to spend. This one was 99 bucks on Amazon. I'm going to get the one that's probably like $180. That is the one downside to these is that they are not cheap. Um, the mounts themselves are relatively cheap. I think I paid 18 bucks for each one. And then you just click them in. So that's nice because the problem here is, you know, I tried one on my trip. Where the hell did I put that one? It's in here somewhere. That's my BMW bag. I probably threw it up on top. Here, I might have even taken it in the house. Or is it this one? No, that's the one that straps in the back seat, which doesn't really work all that well when your seat is this shape it just wants to slide off so i was having trouble with that one but anyway i had another tank one you'll see from my videos from the deals gap trip and the problem with it is that plastic plastic and when they're magnetic i try putting magnets underneath and i every time i would accelerate was okay but when i would roll off the gas hard just the engine braking alone would be enough to send the tank you know, the, the bag sliding forward and then i'd be going down the road trying to keep it from jamming up in here somewhere and trying to readjust it and put it back and i don't like the ones with straps because then you have straps hanging there when you're not using it so here you know yeah you got that plastic plate whatever i can get to the gas cap it works just fine i click the bag on it and then you don't see it so anytime you want to go for a ride if you're in race leathers you don't have pockets and things you just go ahead and slap those things on so we're going to give it this one to my wife. I'll get her a Ducati ring for that one. And I'll get the larger one for myself. And you just kind of get it in there and uh, line it up and click it in and off you go. And then when you get where you're going, go to the restaurant. You don't want to leave it there. Just grab it. It's got a handle. Carry it with you. So um, it will cost more money. But if you're going to do this, get the 8 liter one. Um, I'll post up some links on the uh, in the description. But so far, pretty cool. It actually works really well. I just wish I'd gotten the bigger bag. So uh, Nicholas and some other people that were considering this, you want to see what it was I was talking about? And that's what we're talking about.